arrangement of particles in the atom. So there are three particles, proton, neutrons, and electrons. We have just discussed the method to find the number of protons, uh, number of neutrons, and number of electrons in the atom. And we are discussing the arrangement of particles, proton, neutrons, and electrons in the atom. In the center of the atom, we call nucleus, there are protons and neutrons. So protons and neutrons are held tightly packed together in the center of the atom. And this is a very small portion of the atom as compared to the total size of the atom. So nucleus is of very small size as compared to the total size of the atom. And in that very small size, there are proton and neutron packed together in the center of the atom and that is called nucleus. So nucleus is having protons and neutrons. This is the atom of sodium in which there are 11 protons and 12 neutrons packed tightly together and uh, protons are positively charged particle, neutrons have no charge on them. So nucleus is having positive charge because of the protons, because of the presence of protons. And outside the nucleus are electrons. So electrons are revolving around the nucleus. This is the shell number one and this is the shell number two and this is the shell number three. So electrons are revolving around the nucleus in various shells. These shells are numbered from the nucleus outward. So this is the shell number one, shell number two and shell number three. And these are also called energy level. So you may call it shell or you may call it energy level. So this is the shell number one, shell number two, shell number three or energy level one, energy level two or energy level three. The first shell can maximum have two electron. So the maximum number of electrons which can come in shell number one are the two electrons. So that is called duplet. So duplet, so that duplet means that the first shell can maximum have two electrons. And this the second shell can maximum have eight electrons and we call it that it has octet. So octet means that it can maximum have eight electrons. The second shell is uh, the shell which can maximum have eight electrons. So second shell can maximum accommodate eight electrons. These are called energy levels and uh, energy level means electrons have a negative charge on it. As electrons have a negative charge on it, so electrons repel electrons because the same charges repel each other. But electrons are attracted by the proton because the opposite charges attract each other. So there are pushes and pulls in the atom. These uh, elementary pushes and pulls are formed uh, in the atom and electrons are trying to make uh, the forces of attraction maximum and they are trying to reduce the repulsions. So the maximum number of electrons can come in the first shell are the two electrons and the maximum number of electrons which can come in the second shell are the eight electrons so that the repulsions between the electron electron should be minimum and electrons will revolve around the nucleus to get the force of attraction from the nucleus. The 
protons attract electron the first shell electrons are near the proton and there is a maximum force of attraction with the force of attraction these electrons have less independence because they are controlled by the proton they are more controlled by the proton so the electrons which are near the proton i mean the first shell electron uh, which are near the proton have less energy because they are more attracted by the proton and there is a better force of attraction between the proton and the first shell electron but if we go to the last shell electron the last shell electron which which are also called valence electron they are far away from the proton and the proton is having the least force of attraction on them having the least control on them and therefore the last shell electron valence electrons have maximum energy and uh, that is the reason that this is called energy level so the energy level 1 is have less energy energy level 2 has more energy as compared to the energy level 1 and the last shell or the valence electron have maximum energy because they are maximum away from the nucleus and from the proton uh, much of the chemistry resides in electron and more than that chemistry is linked with the valence electron because the valence electrons are far away from the proton and have maximum energy and they can move from one atom to another atom and can make bonds that we study in our next chapter that how bonds are formed how one atom will join with another atom and uh, all the chemical properties can be determined by the electron maximum uh, chemistry and the chemical properties can be determined by the last shell or valence shell electrons <laughs>